ጋራ ሜሰር ያን ሳይፍ ያን ሳይፍ So here at Karnak, if you look at all of these huge columns, you notice that they're made out of a number of different pieces, and that is manageable by a working crew. However, right next to it, we have an obelisk. This obelisk is basically of the same scale, but it's composed of one piece of stone. This is much more of a challenge than that, from a technical viewpoint. Also, this material is local. This is from the quarry at Aswan. So the theory is that the obelisk has nothing to do with the dynastic Egyptian culture. The dynastic Egyptians built all of these incredible limestone and sandstone buildings, but that's from another older culture who had the capability to work on that kind of scale of one single block, hewing it out from the bedrock, moving it, shaping it, erecting it. This could be a receiving station of the energy from the pyramids, if the pyramids were energy power plants. It's like what Tesla was trying to achieve and did achieve. He reinvented a very ancient process. This is possibly the finest example of a core drill in existence. See the size of it. The thing is this, it was a hollow tube drill, and that's the thickness of the wall of the drill. And if you look carefully, you can actually see the spiral groove created by the drill as it was going through this pink uh, granite from Aswan. <laughs> Can we get a piece of, of the outside the hard there? and the soft? So any theories, Susan? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, she okay. hasn't studied it. That's good. She doesn't jump to conclusions. Like Which is great. Material structure. Exactly. No, it looks like the core, the erosion inside is greater than the erosion outside here. Possible question mark? Possible question mark? All this part is outside and the fragile part is in the inside. Yeah, I like it. Seems like the structure from the inside transformed and then shrink. And because the stone can't shrink, so it cracked like that. But again, as we keep repeating that we have so many other examples in the same time, uh, the same uh, uh, environment, but not the same result. <laughs> How would they know and where to cut it? Yeah, because if you, if you heated it up and then threw cold water onto it, you would see the effect on the outside. Right. So to have that effect on the inside. It's and another way out there is maybe it's a, a constructed rock. Well, that's what I was wondering if that was yeah. kind of like a plastery thing on the outside yeah, of it. Yeah, sort of poured into a mould and then, you know, it, 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 it like, formed yeah, harder on the outside, so that's why it's a crust. On the inside. Yeah. So even the geologists have agreed, who are here, that something very strange happened to this black stone because the core of it is more unstable than the surface. The crystal size in the core is bigger than the outside surface. And some theorize, again, that this was part of an energy system. Energy was running through the stone and possibly there was a giant burst of energy that went through it, destabilized it, and basically caused this stone and others here at Karnak to explode thousands of years before the dynastic times.